Right, ladies and gentlemen, a real treat for the arts and crafts uh, period collector. 1893, W.R. Letherby, the great architect and commentator on, on, on architecture of the period. Uh, and it's his book on lead work, decorative and ornamental lead work through the ages from ancient Egyptian times to um, the sort of 18th, uh, early 19th century. Uh, it's in various sections on cisterns, on gutters, on gutter heads, on garden statuary, 18th century garden statuary, fine urn there. I think the illustrations are by Letherby. Um, lead statues, lead fountains, lead ornamentation, inscriptions, one from Richard Lionheart's uh, tomb and one from the supposedly the tomb of King Arthur, fonts, coffins, domes, etc, etc, etc. Binding is a bit split at the top but sort of sound. It's X library It's a specimen copy. I think it may have been a publisher's specimen copy, I'm not sure. And it has a very distinguished pedigree. It's from the library of Canon Percy Deermer, who was um, uh, a, a turn of the 19th century, 20th century, um, ecclesiastic who was involved in music, knew Ray Four Williams, a hymn writer. He was also in, in favour of the ministry of women in the church, it was unusual, and a sort of proselytising socialist of the period. And here inscribed by Deema is from Gleason White's library, July the 3rd, 1899. Gleason White was a writer on uh, sort of connoisseurship, the arts, and he was the first editor of The Studio, which was, of course, the highly influential magazine for the arts and crafts movement. So you've got a sort of treble whammy, socialist clergyman, um, studio editor, and W.R. Letherby, and a scarce book. Uh, I can find three uh, copies currently for sale on, on the internet. The first three I looked at were priced at £91, £102, and another ex-library copy like this for £116. So scarce and attractive item. Thanks very much indeed. Bye.